Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 9 tutorials. So guys in this video we are going to discuss about how can we export our data into an excel file using Laravel. So I am going to start with the initial step by installing a fresh Laravel project. So what I am going to do is I am going to move to git bash. I have already accessed the htdocs folder. So what I am going to do is cd uh, sorry not cd Laravel new and my project name in this case i will put excel one because i already have a project with the name excel uh, i created that project for the hindi urdu lecture so yeah guys let's say if you have laravel globally installed you can simply use this command laravel new excel or whatever the project name is right here or let's say if you don't have laravel globally installed you can simply refer to laravel docs and use the composer file uh, compute composer command sorry to create a fresh laravel project so i'm going to hit enter so this command is going to take some time to execute so i'm going to pause the video and once it's done i will resume it okay guys so now we have our fresh laravel project right here so let's access that folder cd excel one okay so let's open that for project in sublime open folder htdocs excel one this one okay okay guys now what we need to do is let's move to google so for this task we are going to use laravel quick excel okay i am going to uh, paste the link of the web page in the description so guys right here you can say uh, you can see it says five minute quick start but let's say if you are going to start from right here you will face an error because first you need to install it so this is the reason i'm making this video so i'm just going to copy this just to show you and let's paste that because we don't have this export okay by default see this is the error so now what we need to do is we need to move to getting started installation i know it's sim straightforward but just in case i i have seen that many of you guys uh, or many of people are asking like such question like how to run this laravel excel and this and that so the initial step is the installation but that's not just it because now what you need to do is you need to check the requirement and let's say if you are using laravel line you will face an error that's why i'm making this video so installation first step is right here first step composer require math website excel okay i'm going to paste it right here because it includes php spreadsheet as well so let's paste it right out sorry i think i didn't copy that properly so copy and let's paste it again let's run it and now you will see we have an error right here okay just wait a second or minute okay right here so now what you need to do is it says if you have uh, laravel 9 uh, and let's say composer fail uh, the reason would be simple cache so what you need to do is try version 2.0 for simple cache psr simple cache but in my case when i tried that it didn't work let me show you the uh, notepad that, that i made for you guys so laravel excel okay so let's say if you were not able to run the first app like i did right here you can see the error okay what you need to do is you need to run this command this one the second one okay and in my case i was not able to run this command as well i was facing same issue just like that okay so that's why i have made this video let's move forward let's say if you are not able to execute this command as well what you need to do is you need to stop them stop them like this you need to access php inf file okay you need to search for control s extension equals to gd okay right here so by default this extension is equals to gd is commented out just like that okay so what you need to do is you need to remove this comment save this file just like that and that's it you need to run the xamp again so that's what i have wrote right here default by default you will see it like this and you have to remove the semicolon because semicolon represent the uh, comment in the ini file right here so it would look like this after removing the semicolons you need to save the php ini file run the project and that's it you need to run this command again and you will run uh, it will run successfully so my issue was resolved right here after doing this 
so let's execute this command just in case because this command is also going to take some time like a minute or uh, half a minute so what we can do is let's move forward let's say uh, my issue was resolved here if it's not the case for you what you need to do is you need to try version 1 let uh, let's say if it's uh, you are facing problem right here with the help of this command as well you need to run this command and once this command is executed successfully you can simply use this command and that would be it okay so let's see if it's done yeah it's done so let's move to google once again now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to publish this config file okay so that we can see it so publish paste okay so copying file done so we need to check config dot uh, slash excel dot php so config and right here you can see con excel.php so this is what's going on in the background i just wanted to show you so that you have an idea let's say if you are not using this package we need to implement all of this okay just in case not all of this but most most of the uh, most of the things from that file okay let's move forward let's move to export guide quick guide right here now we can successfully run this command now uh, because we have php spreadsheet in place so let's run this command just like that you can see it's done so now we will have a folder inside app app exports and i have created users export let me show you the command again so we are creating an export class by the name users export using the model users because in this case i'm going to export all the users that i have in the database for now we don't have any user okay so let me just show you so we are just returning the collection of user all right here as simple as that let's move to our next step let's say if in any case you want to create this export file manually you can do that but i didn't write that so i will leave that to you if you want to try you can now we need to create a controller so let's move to git bash again i am going to write php artisan make controller and controller name would be user controller okay so now we have our controller let's move to http uh, controllers user controller now we need to copy this method inside our controller so copy and let's remove this comment let's put some space let's paste our method and we need to export these lines as well okay because we are using users export uh, the class and the excel file that i showed you okay so yeah we can simply include it right here that's it last step would be to create a route you can you can read all the comments right here okay and last step is to create a route so let's move to web.php we will discuss the whole scenario uh, once it it's done again i will for the better understanding that's it okay guys so now what we need to do is i am going to call it uh, like this app http controllers and controller name was i think user controller yeah and i am going to hit the export method that we just copied this one okay so yeah that's it now what we need to do is let's say we can simply run our project so let's do that php artisan serve on port 8080 because i am uh, my php my admin is running on port 8000 that's why i have to do that so like this this is our uh, basic view now what we can do is we can create a view so that we can export these users from the database so let's create one so for that let's move to uh, resources views create a new file and the name would be let's say users.play.php okay and right here let's put html skeleton the export user would be the title export users okay now we need bootstrap cdn for basic styling so bootstrap for cdn i will put all these links in the description no worries okay so that you don't have to go here and there and i will put the issue details notepad as well or i will provide you the link okay so just paste the link below the title and let's copy the javascript and let's paste it just above the body closing tag just like that okay now we can simply use div 
class container and let's say uh, margin top 5 okay let's put heading h1 let's say export users or data you can say export users data and let's create an anchor and let's put some classes class uh, let's say btn btn minus primary okay the text would be export users to excel okay let's close this now we need to put a url right here just in case if you are lost i will describe what's going on right here once we are done okay to make it simple for you right here just like that so yeah guys everything is in place now what we need to do is we need to call this view instead of this welcome view the basic view this one okay so let's do that our view name is i think users or user yeah users i can see that let's do a refresh okay so this is our page now if i click on this button we will export our users but guys we don't have a database and we don't have any users so let's create that and let's run the migration first so i'm going to stop the project let's run the migration but first i need to create a database so excel one just like that create now we have our uh, database in place now i'm going to do a, what i'm going to do is php artisan and migrate as simple as that so we have our migrations in place let's see right here now i'm going to create some fake or factory data or dummy data with the help of tinker let me show you how php artisan tinker and i need to create dummy data for user model user factory count would be let's say in this case i want 10 count and i want to create that okay just like that so you can see guys the data is created now let's move out from here and let's run our project again okay i will show you that we have our data we have our data in users table let me show you right here now what we need to do is we need to just click on this button let's just refresh everything is running so let's click on this and right here we have our users file okay so yeah guys let's open that file just to show you enable editing and right here you can see you can match this data as well if you want to let's move to database you can check the first and the last and the middle one whatever you want so as simple as that that's how we can export our data let's say if you have yeah uh, right here 100 or 50 users data you can simply click on it and you can get all of them in the excel file right here let me just show you once again what's going on but first let me describe what's going on oh, okay so when we are hitting our uh, basic page right here this is the page that we are uh, implementing the button or sorry uh, not a button but anchor tag okay so this is the view now whenever i am going to click on this what i am actually doing is i am hitting this url and this url is right here okay user export so whenever i am hitting users export actually i am hitting the users control method export that has name export so let me show you the method right here export so in this export we have an excel uh, that we are using to fetch all the uh, data of the user but first let's say when we reach here till this method we are getting all the users from users export class let me show you once again just so that everything is clear so whenever we are reaching here we are getting all the user with the help of this collection user all it's returning all the user right here once we have our users we are placing them in this file and we are downloading that file using this excel which is inside the config dot uh, config excel dot php right here so that's how we are making our file just in case if there is an issue you can just review the video uh, first of all we are hitting this route okay which has a user anchor tag or uh, anchor then whenever we click on that anchor we are hitting this route which uh, takes us to this export method which is right here 
whenever we reach here we are getting all the user using users export that we created see okay and after that once we have all our users we are simply downloading them with the help of excel and that's it you can keep the name whatever you want so that's it from this specific video guys i hope you guys liked it if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and yes guys be ready for the next one okay take care guys